Hi, my name is Kevin. I'm Mark. And I'm Ben. And we made the Portal Interactive Gaming System. It's composed of three parts. It's composed of one, a belt brace. Um, a direction pad. And a gun. So here is the portal direction pad, which as you may notice is very similar to a DDR pad, and it is. So it controls movement in one, when you're facing one direction. So you're moving right, forward, back, and left. Now you'll notice that when I did that, I always put one foot on another pad, and there's always a foot in the middle. That's because the pad also controls jumping. So if I were to stand in the middle and jump in place, I would of course jump in place. But now if I were to move right, the script that we wrote would know that you're going right, but you're also stationed, you're also on the ground. If I did this, if I jumped like that, it would jump me zero plus right, so I would jump right. So again, like if I jumped, if I was going forward and right and I jumped, it would jump me forward and right. Now if I also did this, I would probably continually jump because I'm on one pad. So this is how you would move. Now the way that the pad works is under each of these five sections, there are conductive foams surrounded by two layers of copper mesh. And so when you press on the conductive foam, it acts as a variable resistor. And this resistance change registers as a hit on the pad, which Arduino will register, and then gets sent to the Java robot class, and we have movement. And that's it. This is the gun itself. It contr controls the trigger mechanism as well as the aiming. It has in it Nintendo Wii hardware as well as an Arduino FIO board. Right here is the primary trigger. This controls with the left mouse click would normally do. Right here by the magazine release is the secondary trigger. That's the right mouse click. And then right up here is the A button and that controls the tertiary trigger or normally what the E button on the keyboard would do. So if you wanted to grip this like so, it's meant for a left-handed person, hold it like that. On the front of the gun, there's an infrared camera. That matches up with the sensor bar underneath the projector, and that controls aiming. That's normally what mouse movement would do. So this is the belt brace. It contains a battery, uh, behind it an accelerometer, and the FIO and this detects crouching with the accelerometer. So let me try and actually put this on to show you how it works. So you loop in your belt, and uh, this is the top of the, the belt brace. When you finish. And then you just simply attach it like so. So it clicks in like that. And with the accelerometer, and when it's turned on, it will basically transmit readings from the accelerometer to the computer. So if I crouch, would detect crouching. Oh, and welcome to the enrichment center. Oh, and welcome to the enrichment center.
a triumph. I'm making a note here, huge success. It's hard to overstate my satisfaction. Aperture science. We do what we must because we can. For the good of all of us, except the ones who are dead. But there's no...